Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I wanna to talk today about the number one inner shift that you can make for yourself that will make the most impact within your reality and within the reality of the planet. So as we go into this rise in consciousness, we have so much access to beautiful energies and beautiful spaces where we did not have access before. We can go into our karmic or our Akashic records if we want to. Everybody can do this. Everybody can do this. We have more access to our metaphysical gifts. We have more access to an understanding of our own experiences and relationships and how that has played out in our field over the eons. And so now we are having the opportunity with this residue releasing and having this inner power coming through to really look at look at ourselves with a magnifying glass and i'm not talking about healing work i'm talking talking about really having a, a an opportunity um, a gift to look at ourselves from the bigger picture pulling the lens back and seeing ourselves and what really drives us as humans but also what drives us on a personal level so i received this beautiful message today that i wanted to share with you about the number one thing that you can release and that is self-doubt self-doubt to release. What is the number one thing that you can replace that with? Belief, trust, knowing, knowing that you are a divine being, a powerful soul that has experienced so much across the quantum field and is now here to assist in this rising consciousness because this is a cycle. We are here. It is here. So in order to do that, I know many of you out there, what can I do to help the planet? You, you are praying daily. You are putting out energy to Gaia every day. You're putting out energy to your family members that they might come along with you on this journey. Um, but the number one thing that guidance has said that you can do is to go inside and to trust in self, to believe in the present moment that you are super powerful, that the choices and the experiences that you have had and that you are making going forward are always in your best interest. And this doesn't mean to be self-centered or selfish or narcissistic. This means that you are loving self at a core level, therefore loving humanity and feeling the connection of all within you. If we are doubting ourselves, and this is what I was shown very clearly, if we doubt ourselves, we doubt our choices, we are actually many times taking on the energy of people and things and experiences and perceptions outside of ourselves. So this is not abnormal because we are, as humans, we are connective beings. We are constantly connecting. Therefore, we're constantly hearing perceptions and judgments about ourselves right? That's being reflected to us with language and also without language. But we are also asking often for validation because we have this mistrust within self. So releasing that mistrust and really believing that our choices and our heart-based intuition is driving us forward, that is going to make the biggest shift on this planet. So I'm going to give you an example. Let's imagine that you had a really like special choice to make for yourself about, um, I don't know, where you're going to live or shifting careers or even about a person in your life um, getting married or getting connected, you know, getting going in partnership with them. Um, and you are asking outside of yourself, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure what to do. You know, you, you haven't really sat with it because often we don't really give ourselves the time to listen to our own perceptions and listen to our own heart. Um, oftentimes we go outside of ourselves. So let's just assume for sake of, you know, uh, showing everyone this example that you have asked family members or you've asked your best friend or you've talked to people at work about it, or maybe you haven't even asked, you just kind of talked about it or people are sensing it and they're kind of asking you, Hey, what's going on with so-and-so what's going on with this? And you are giving them little bits of information in that you're giving away your energy outside of yourself, right? And we've been programmed and conditioned to do this. We all do this, 100% of us do this, <laughs> probably, I don't know, between 50 and 100% of the time, right? So what's happening now on the planet is that we are asked to pull our energy in, and that's why we're feeling this space of unknown. I've been talking about this for a very long time, but we are being asked to sit in the present moment. It's why things aren't going forward for us. It's why these things we want to manifest yet another reason these things that we want to manifest aren't going forward 
because we are constantly giving our energy away. We're giving our heart away. We're giving our intuition away. We are allowing others energy to come in and infiltrate and mix with ours. And now it's not hundred percent our heart. It's not hundred percent our energy. There's a big wobble that we kind of bring into play with our chakra system and our energy system when we look outside of ourselves for validation. So you might have people coming to you and saying, hey, you know, especially um, those of us who are in the spiritual space, uh, we have access to a lot of metaphysical gifts and things that we can see. But remember, just because we can see them does not mean it's another's reality, right? So if we are seeing them, we're getting this message, it, do it doesn't necessarily mean it's coming from someone else's I'm sorry, it doesn't necessarily mean it's coming from your reality. It could be coming from someone else's timelines, right? We all, as quantum beings, create our own realities. We create our own timelines based on all those experiences and perceptions that we have not only gone through and brought through ourselves, but how, like what percentage of perceptions are actually ours, 100% ours? Pretty much nothing, right? Because we've experienced the eons of the field traveling through. So super important to disconnect others' judgments and perceptions of you and allow you to spend the time in your heart. Now, when we do this, and I'm saying this out of experience, it can be super uncomfortable because we want to keep throwing ourselves out of our heart space. We want to disconnect from that space because it can be super deep right? Super, super deep. We can feel the love. We can feel the connection. And sometimes that's almost too much for humans to experience, but this is where we're going. And I know a lot of you are really working within the heart space. So what were to happen if you questioned every perception about yourself, where did that come from? And again, not healing work, not going super deep. It's, it, at this point, it can be super quick. Just allow yourself to feel it. Just drop into the nothingness, like even imagine yourself in this empty space, how would it feel to not take on another's perception? How would it feel to be able to discern and tease out those belief systems if they actually came from you or if it was a conclusion that you made based on a relationship with somebody else, okay? Because what guidance showed me was that the wobble in our systems, the wobble in our energy systems, large and small, will create a new timeline. And there are infinite timelines in the quantum field that we can create just from our perceptions. So if you are coming from a place of fear or anxiety or depression or someone else's fear, depression, anxiety, and pull on your energy system, you are creating a timeline that is kind of connected to them. It's not your, your sovereign timeline. So as as we go forward and we sit in the space of the unknown and we spend a lot of time by ourselves and out of our other's energy, it's super important that we really start going into the heart space and asking, is this fully mine? Is this belief fully mine? Is this belief based on what I really know about myself and my experiences? Or is it based on someone else's idea of what I am? Because this is these are the themes coming forth. Who I am is who I am based on the idea of what other people believe me, believe of me, and how have I, how have I gained that knowledge? What is the trajectory or the path of the relationship with that person or people outside of me, and how has have I stayed on that path to create a timeline for them? that feels true to them, but is not actually true for me. I hope that makes sense. But huge message, really important message, um, especially, you know, we have so much information going on right now. It is just mind blowing how much information is coming to us, not only through politics or um, the global agendas or even the spiritual communities, but just within our own information that we have access to now. And so getting super quiet, getting, you know, just pulling everything in. If you feel like a bit of a hermit, it is okay. It can be a little bit lonely, but it's okay because right now we are starting to tease out all of these conclusions that are not true about ourselves. And remember, if you think about how many people on the planet, 8 billion people on the planet, not one person, on the planet has the exact same perception of an experience as anyone 
anyone else, right? So we have 8 billion people on the planet and not one of them will have the same experience. Even if we're all experiencing here on this planet as one, we still have different perceptions based on eons of our quantum energy. So just wanted to pass that on. If you need help teasing out and getting quiet with your space, I am so glad to work with you. I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. Uh, I have live Wednesdays that are free. If you haven't downloaded my free meditation to go into super consciousness, you can do that. That's in the description. But I would love to work with you. First time sessions, if you're first time and new to me, $75. So I would love to work with you. And also please subscribe because that helps um, a like or share this with somebody because that really helps people who need to hear this message, um, helps them come along and, and join our community um, with these beautiful, like-minded, heart-minded beings. I'll see you on the next one. Namaste.